Hello, Seabird. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we are making our way out of the Elden region and into the Heber region to complete or to continue the EX, the Champion's Ballad quest. We, of course, started it a couple episodes ago. We'll be going at it quite often. So now, moving all the way over to the Heber region so that we can get that going. Alrighty, so I'm gonna probably do Tabantha Tower. This seems pretty good. And to be honest with you, I'm feeling pretty confident going into it because the one we did here in the Elden region for Daruk was the most quickly done, I think. We, we got everything done rather quickly. So hopefully that continues in this next one. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, let's get going. We'll probably have four more trials, or actually three more trials, three more shrines, and then the boss fight, which I need to remember to take a picture of. <laughs> that is definitely something I have to do. But anyways, uh, let's get started. Here we are to the Tower. I think it was a little down below. Uh, yeah, right over this way, right? Or, or, yeah, okay. Am I facing the right one? I am. Okay, see, I actually see it over there. Just gotta glide over, talk to Cass, all that kind of normal stuff. I think it was better to teleport to this one than that one. I don't think it would've reached very easily. We're making it, we're getting there, that's for sure. Almost, oh, I already see Cass. Hi, Cass! Do you see me? I'm probably gonna have to equip my uh, Rito gear because we're probably gonna be going to some cold locations up in the mountains over that way. This area definitely is the most expansive when it comes to the amount of land you have to travel, I feel, uh, out of the four. Probably. I applaud your courage in coming here. So this is saying the same thing it usually says. The locations that will be revealed to you are of the trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Okay, well, some of these have been challenging, some of them not so much. We'll find out what this one's all about now. All right, we got one in the cold, cold region. It looks like in some kind of crater or lake or something. And we got two more that we'll check out in a moment. I think Cass is gonna talk to us first. Very glad to uh, get started with this one now. I feel like it's gonna be fun. And then after this, we have the uh, Gruta ones we'll do next episode. The stone monument has survived for 10,000 years. What secrets does it hold? Oh. Hmm, how long have you been here? I didn't even notice your arrival. Ah, we meet again, and it seems you caught me, well, talking to myself. Oh. Look, as expected, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Ah, sweet joy, how glorious to sing this song in front of the real monument. The song my teacher left behind. There's a verse about the trials that Champion Rivali overcame. Allow me to sing it for you. Also, this is the 100th episode. I forgot to mention, that's sort of a big deal. 100 episodes, yay. <laughs> Wind's ally soars the land of cloud. Meadow's champion, swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow. Seek Trials Monument Show. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Two, race down a peak ring's adorn. Three, shoot four targets to win. Champion, the trials begin. It actually doesn't sound too bad. Like the one, you know, we have to find the dragon hit his horn, that might be a bit tough, but the other two seem pretty easy. So, did it move you? By steeping myself in legends and of the champions, I'm beginning to form a deeper understanding of them. This will prove invaluable in writing the key verses of the song. The confidence it must have taken to master a divine beast. How inspiring. Ooh. My teacher's dream is now mine to fulfill. An unfinished song weighs heavily on a bard's soul. I won't allow it. But in order to see the dream to fruition, I must learn more about the champions of long ago. Thankfully, Teba and the Rito village elder, Canelli, told me some wonderful stories of the Rito champion. Yet this unfinished song still pulls at my heart, and so my hometown is but a stopping point on this journey of mine. Yeah, it is his hometown, isn't it? <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with this. First off, I'll change my gear so it's a little bit more fitting for what we're trying to get done in today's episode. So where is the Rito gear? Did I pass it? I did. Okay, so we got the... All of this, very good. And we're good to get going. So let's take a look at each one and make sure we take a photo of it as we typically do. So um, we have this one right here. Looks like it's by a mountain, 
buy some water here, some water there, maybe a little water there, and like a little crater in the center. So take a photo, just in case we're out in the wild and we need it. And then this one's definitely out in the area we're in right now, a little ledge into the right of it. Hmm, that one's a bit inconspicuous, and this one looks like a tall mountain peak. Okay, so let's take a look at everything and see what we can find. First off, I'm gonna look for the water one. Oh, you know what? It might just actually be the flight range. Ah, you know what? It definitely is. Why I think that, that's probably the one that's like hit four targets. So I'll put that there. Now this mountain could be just about anywhere, but I'm thinking Talanto Peak or maybe Hebra Peak. Hmm. Oh, you know, I remember this area with all these little ice chips, basically. Where is that? Over this way. See, so yeah, sort of kind of around here then. I do remember that. I'm gonna make a marker like here. This one's a bit inconspicuous, but I'm sure we'll find it along the way. And then lastly, we have this one. Now this one's gonna be in the opposite direction. And likely is gonna be the location of our dragon pal. The only problem is we don't get to see the grass and stuff as they get to do there. So this one could be actually like up here, but I don't think it is. Like it could just be right down this way. I'm gonna try there. But you can see what seems like ice there. I mean, this is Kuho Mountain over this way. Hmm. I don't really know. We'll try this one first. I'm pretty sure this is just a dragon though. Seeing how he sort of shows up in this ravine. So if we could just simply find the dragon, I think we'll be in a fine spot, you know? It won't be easy, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. See, so yeah, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for him, and if we see him, we'll go at him. But in the meantime, I probably should tackle the other ones. Yeah, taking a look around, there really isn't too much going on in this area. Well, at least not for what we're trying to look for. Because two of them are, you know, pretty simple challenges as far as I know. And we'll start tackling those in a moment. I just wanted to see if the dragon's out and about right now because we have to hit him right in the horn, which may be a bit more challenging than, you know, we may think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite see him at the moment. So I'm gonna, you know, take a guess that he's not around, available right now. But that's fine because I can instead first go and do this one. This one really shouldn't be too bad. It is, you know, it's sort of this little target practice. That should be fine. I don't know if I have to talk to them and set it up so it's like the mini game as per usual, probably. And hitting four targets really shouldn't be that bad. So yeah, we'll get to that and that'll be great. Okay, so here we are. We're nice and toasted because of our outfit, so that's always good. And there's, oh, look at this, there's already targets. So let me try these out then. Do I have a bow and arrow equipped? I do not, let me change that. We'll just do our lowest damage one. Oh, not use ice. This is normal. So we had to hit four targets, probably in like one glide. Oh no, can't quite get that one. Or that one. No, that didn't work. Hold on, I'm out of stamina. Oh no, okay, that's my problem. I need to not waste any stamina, probably. Or not waste, I mean, hit them all without running out of stamina. So let's try this maybe a little bit smarter this time. Oh, but I do lose the arrow still. Don't like that very much. See so yeah, how let's get over this way. And then I'm gonna hit this one because this is a guaranteed hit. There we go. That's four of them, right? Was that not right? Shoot four targets to win. Is that good enough? Oh no, you see, they're all coming back. Weird. Okay, well, I'm out of energy again. Huh. I might really have to, I mean, maybe I just have to start the mini game first. I mean, I don't think that's the case. Are they even over here? Maybe I should talk to them before I jump right into this. It might be that I have to be gliding the whole time, like when I'm in slow motion, I have to hit four targets. Let's see what you have to say. Hey, buddy. Would you mind showing Tulin how you handle a bow? Watching a master at work and trying to copy their techniques is a good start when it comes to training, after all. All right, sure thing. I'm counting on you, warrior. Tulin is waiting for your arrival. 
And we've gotten a photo of this, right? Oh, we have not. Swallow bow. Go ahead and grab it. There we go. I don't think I need it. I can't even carry it, but I'm glad I got a photo of it. Hey, buddy. Link, will you show me what you can do with a bow? I'll count on you and you'll break all, and you, I'll count down and you'll break all the targets before the time is up. When you break a bunch, I'll give you a prize. Are you ready yet? Maybe next time, hold on. I want to just try this out normally one more time. So if I were to choose four different targets to hit, I would choose it from like here and go this one, this one, that one, and that one. That's it, so I did do it all in like one go like that. That makes sense, we figured it out. So that's just the very bottom of here, there's a shrine. That's super cool. All right, so we got our first shrine unlocked. Wasn't too bad to do, to be honest with you. I just had to sort of figure out the right position for it and make sure that's exactly what I had to do. Might check down here and see if there's any kind of, uh, what's it called? Any kind of prize, a chest, or anything like that? Where is it? Is it over this way? It looks like it. So let me get over there <laughs> in whatever way I can. Aha, see this the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Can't quite get it from here, but I can definitely get it. I just need to go over, go like this, and grab it. Hopefully we got like 30 arrows in here, gives me the rest of the arrows I need. What do we got? We get a royal broadsword. I don't have enough room for it. Is that all? Looks like it, so I'm gonna leave you there. Oh well, we tried. And let's go into the shrine. I didn't read what shrine it was, but we'll find out when we head into it, so let's get going. And hopefully this one isn't too bad. You never know, though. Whew. It'll certainly be a challenge, I'm sure. They've been getting a little bit more challenging as we go. Like I said, last episode was easier, but I feel like the, the missions themselves, but the shrines weren't really getting any easier. The Four Winds, no Raji Shrine. Oh, this is interesting. So, huh. All right, well, that worked. Hmm. Yeah, let me get over here. The four winds, one, two, three, four. Okay, I see him. Seems as though there's a lot going on around this area. Huh. Oh, even stuff like, you can see this will be affected by the wind and probably there's gonna be something in there. I don't know what this is. That starts another thing. Okay, I wanna definitely like settle down somewhere. Oh, am I stuck in here for now? <laughs> I may be. Let, let's wait for a second, we'll hop out of here. This is very interesting. Um, Come on, there we go. I wanna fly up this way, and then try to figure out some of this. I mean, I can't stand here is the problem. Okay, Uh, I could definitely do something about this. If I go up, 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 and this may not be, Oh no, that's that's how I can do it. Oh no. Okay, I can definitely get in there though. Definitely get in there. That's it. What do we got going on with this one? Another wind starting up, very cool. We're gonna check every side of this then. I'm gonna toss, ow, that's fine. <laughs> as long as I sort of clear it out a little bit. Uh. So what is going on over this way? Ooh, going way, way up. It doesn't seem like too much that's accessible on either side now. Okay. So where could the chest be? Because there's definitely a chest going off. It looks like it's still in the center of everything, okay. So my best bet is getting to the place, yeah, that has even more wind. And just sort of taking a good look around from here. Whoa, not exactly what I wanted. Hold on, if I can stay suspended, that might be my best bet. Because obviously I can get in there some way, somehow. I haven't quite yet figured that out. Here we go, I gotta get up from here. Launch me up. Launch up again. Let's restore, okay, let me, next chance I get, I gotta land here and restore our stamina. And I need to find a way into something. Oh, is this something I can hit? No. Hmm. There must be another entrance somewhere. I've already entered these two things. 
How weird is that? Hmm. I don't see anything else I can do within this room. I can't quite get up there, and even if I could, it doesn't seem like it would do much. I mean, obviously, that doesn't work. Huh. I feel like I just sort of need to look around and find the opening. Which so far hasn't been very easy. Oh, right there, okay. That might not be too bad then. <laughs> Let's uh go into there and launch us up. And what can we do with this? Okay, so we're next to something. Boom, and that's gonna activate another one. The one right over our heads. Okay, let me go back down and try to get out of here at the least. There we go, there we go, oh no. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> so I just need to once again get over this way, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Go up, come on, come on, Link. You got it, very cool. There we go. Awesome. So what's weird is I still haven't figured this one out then. Yeah, what's going on with this? How in the world am I, I don't, there must be an opening hidden somewhere. It isn't like down here, right? Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall. Oh no, oh well. I need to sort of like sit and look and see where the opening is. This is definitely a tough shrine though. It's just like weird. I, I don't know where that one opening is. Like we found this one, but where is the other one? So what I think I just have to do here, it seems a little silly, but I think it's my best bet, is to go up, and boom, that's it. I guess there's like, a, it seemed to me that there may have been a way to get into there. I guess I'm wrong, that sort of stinks, but hey, I did what I could. I'm just gonna glide over, glide over this way, and just get up there normally now. I have all of the fans turned on, so we should be good. I have no clue, whoa, where the, the chest is. I'm not too crazy interested at this point, but we'll do what we can. Try and figure it out. Get up like that, and then get up like this. Oh boy. That's it, that's it. Almost there. Oh, just over there. Okay. Can I just do that? I cannot. Huh, is there like an extra fan to activate or something? I am not entirely sure. Hmm, very odd. Let me get back over here, because I'm about to run out of stamina. At least, at least I'm starting to. Huh. I don't exactly see a way to get over there, unless it's more of a go around it kind of thing. And if it's not, then I don't really see how to get over there, so I'll just probably give up. Whoop, you know, get brought all the way up. Like, that's clearly not enough to get there, but you can see that as if it's a tube, as if there's an opening on the other side. There we go, we got it. Hold on, what are you doing, Link? There we go. <laughs> What's inside of this chest? Hopefully something good. It is, oh, Shield of the Mind's Eye, I'll take it. I mean, I guess. I'll probably put it over the Forest Dweller. I mean, I think I already have gotten a photo of the Shield of the Mind's Eye. I mean, it's only 37, so you know, maybe I shouldn't. It's not that great for at least what we're trying to accomplish. And I do have a photo of it. All right, Forest Wall Shield is sorry, but at least I got the reward. That's always good. Yeah, let's get skedaddle out of here. I should be able to at least, you know, get our first orb of three. That was just a really tough one, just finding the opening of what I was supposed to do. That was just, yeah, it really had to work at it. Okay, so we get ourselves our first Meadows Emblem. The commemorative symbol of a wind trial's completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. How cool is that? Well, awesome, awesome stuff. I'm good to head out of here and start the new quest or mission or whatever it is, trial, the, 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 the second trial. Okay, so here we are at the top of the Hebra Peak. I think it's somewhere around here if we take a second look at our photo for this one. Yeah, it should be right around here. Maybe a little bit more off to the left. As far as I can tell, we should be like right on top of whatever we're looking for. Probably some kind of ring test. 
So if we just make our way out this way, it's probably on the tippity top of there, if I know any better, <laughs> you know? Uh, because race down a peak rings a dorm. Yeah, okay, that has to be it. So we gotta get to the top as, oh no, never mind, it's right here. All right, well that makes it easier. Well, let me get my snow boots on, actually. Yeah, let that restore. I forgot about our snow boots. They should be right over that way. Cool stuff. Let's get to it, ready? Let it recharge and go. So where are we going? We're going down this way. Gliding will certainly make it easier. Will we even be able to get there? You know what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to slide. I'm supposed to slide with my, there we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Let's get to it. Oh no, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh that hurt. Keep going, I'm almost there. Oh, can I stasis the, 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 the ring? That'd be nice. This is actually really fun. I haven't done this too much. Got it, come on, come on. It's it's Link's Pro Skater. There we go, except it's, it's snowboarding, not skating. Whoa, going up this way. Oh no, that's not good. All right, come on, can I just get to this one quick so I can reset the timer? There we go, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Keep it going, keep it going, we're building that momentum now. Excellent, gotta take a right turn here. Okay. Keep it going, Link, you got it. Build up that speed. Jump if we have to. Okay, okay, taking a right. This is very cool, but very scary. We're gonna be coming up on the last one soon. I know Zolfos don't like me, so what are you doing here? Oh, there's the last one, watch out for the snowballs, and boom, we made it on the first try. That was a lot of fun. That might be the most fun ring mission yet. <laughs> this is a really good time. Okay, so our second one opened up already. That was just real fast. I like it. So we just gotta go into there, find out what's going on, see what we can make happen. Yeah. All right, so this is the Kia Toza Shrine, and hopefully it's easier than the previous one. One of mine may be a shrine with a little bit of action. We've been doing a lot of puzzle solving shrines. Maybe another test of strength would be fun. At the same time, I don't know, this may be enough of those. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe it would be fine without. Okay, so what's going on in here? Master the Orb, Kia Toza Shrine. Okay. First off, our goal obviously is to get something there. Pressing this button will launch a ball. So it's like a big marble maze. I love it. Looks like a whole combo of things we could possibly do here. So first off, let's get over there. And actually like, get to know the contraption a little bit more might be helpful. Can I put, yeah that'll push it upwards. Okay, that's good. Um, you know what I might have to do? Actually, can I just climb it like this? No. Huh. How do I want to do that then? If I could just get up there first, get on top of this, and then just angle this just right. It should, hold on. You can do it, I know you can. Apparently not, it's being real picky. Will that push it up? Oh, almost. Is it made so it can't do that? It looks like it to me. You can't push up something that you're on top of. Well, it sort of stinks. Something's not right about that. You know what I could do, though? Uh, I don't know if this would work. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know if that'd work. I wanna like sort of freeze it halfway up. I don't know what my best way of doing that would be. You know what, oh, no, no, no. I might be able to just be fast about it. I also may not be. Come on, if, if the controls were a little bit more snappy, but I guess they don't like it being that way for that specific reason. Come on, really? Let me break this one. Get back up, see, it lets me do that. I don't know what the pickiness is about, but there we go, that's all I had to do. Uh, and let's get up this way and get our treasure chest. It isn't too bad to figure out, I guess. What do we get? It is a falcon bow. I would like to get one of those, so if we could 
take a look at what we got. It was 38, it was like, it was a 33 damage. How much damage was that? Uh, 35. I, I'm tempted. It has a superior fire rate. So like, I think that's, that's worth exchanging for. Like maybe, uh, that's just 50 damage though. We'll drop one of these. I need to get more bow slots for sure. I don't know if I have a falcon bow photographed. I'm pretty sure I do though. Let me take a photo. Self-portrait. Yeah, we have a, we have a, well, we have a royal bow. What are you talking about? Drop that. Take a photo of it. We do not have a photo of a falcon bow. Well, now we do. Very cool. One more weapon not to worry about. So as you can see, this ball comes out of this contraption, goes down around the circle, goes down over this way. So far, there's not really too many variables I can work with there, but this is where things get interesting because it falls straight off. So we just don't have to chip away at this one bit at a time. I need to move that like that, and then move this like this, and now we got a bit of a corner for it to work with. It's gonna come around and go down this way. Obviously, it's just gonna fall down here now. That's fine. I can work on it just like that. And what will this button do? This button will turn this in the opposite direction. So if we wait for another one, this is where I have to be standing. But what is it? We'll just keep it like this so that I can experiment. Wait, can I keep this button? I can keep it stasis down, but that really won't do me too much. Anyways. It's gonna go down this way, and then the next thing that's gonna happen problematically is that it's gonna fall down here. Just like that. So I need that not to happen. That needs to be stasis so that, oh, okay. That should work then. So what I need to do, lastly, is get some ice blocks that up there, and here should be good. We'll find out. Okay, so that won't be easy, but it won't be too tricky either. Like, it'll be a, a weird mix. All right, well, obviously too late for that one, but we're gonna make it work with this one. And the moment it falls off this conveyor belt, it's gonna be my best bet just to go down that way. Or maybe to stasis that and then go down there. So it should be rolling past me any second now. Here it comes. Every time, works perfectly. Come on, keep going, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, I'm so proud. Yeah, there you go. So what I'm waiting to do is wait for that to fall. Nice, it's gonna build up some speed and then right about now, I can do that. And then I just wanna make sure that once this lands, I can like launch it right away because I don't wanna waste any time accidentally doing something. All right, that, per that worked perfectly, okay. Not too bad, a lot of fun too. Those are the fun kind of puzzles in my opinion. All right then, let's go ahead and get our second emblem or whatever it's called. I like that a lot. I, I really hope that there's more like that in the future. Cause that was just fun. I like the little ball contraptions. Okie doke, so our second Mado emblem is here. Very cool, we get our health restored, and now we are good to move on to the third and final one, which is basically just camping out and waiting for a dragon to show up. So finally, here we are. Now I'm, oh, there's a fire over this way. That's a good sign. Who is this guy? Hey, buddy. Lookout duty is tough. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you here? I came here because the elder tasked me with keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently these days. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the incident, incident with Meadow, I can't blame them for worrying. So far, everything seems fine, however. Just to be safe, I'll be scoping things out for a while yet. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, the, its horns light up. There's something about that light that's truly captivating. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that out. We'll sleep till night with this guy. Be a little uh, camping buddies. That's cute. And we'll see how things go. So this is the last one we gotta do. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I feel like it might be the most difficult out of the three, de de depending on the circumstance. Is he here? Oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Huh, oh, oh, there he is. 
Can he see him? Let's find out. I don't see him just yet. Look at dude, he's tough. Do you, have, do you need something? No, we know what brings you here. But we're just waiting for our friend to show up then. All right, well then it's just a matter of patience. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so which way? I feel like he comes in from this way, right? I'm pretty sure. Also, when I was going through here, I noticed that this is like a first time going over this way. There's still so much for us to explore in this game. It's it's wild that we're only at 37% technically. I mean, we've got all the main content done. That remaining of the remainder of the percentage is all just like locations and and pictures and uh, Korok seeds. Those are like that's all we really have left. So it's crazy they they chalk that up to be 60% of the game. I mean, technically time-wise, I suppose, but like importance-wise, not uh, not at all. Anyways, I don't see him. Gotta be honest, dude. You sure you're supposed to be here at this time? I mean, it's still getting later. It's 10.05. I'm just gonna stand here with you. Got the moon moving up rather quickly. <laughs> huh. Is this where he usually teleports in, or what? Is he waving me away? What are you doing? He's like, get out of here. I, I don't know. This is getting a bit weird, dude. I don't see him out here whatsoever. I don't wanna just hop out because I'm gonna end up uh, falling all the way back down. <laughs> That'd be a big pain in the butt. So where is he? Oh, I think I hear something. No? I have no clue. Oh, wind's picking up. It's gotta mean something, right? Maybe. Where is this dude? Oh, there he is, took him long enough. Revali's almost totally finished charging. <laughs> okay, finally he's here, you can already see that he has his stuff. Obviously, I already have a photo of him, he's Dinral. But you can see his glowing horns. I don't have many arrows left. That's something I need to do Revali's soon is buy more arrows. But you know what? Revali, help me out here, buddy. Let's get over there. Hopefully everything turns out quite well. Ooh, actually, is this a Korok seed over this way? I might snag Korok seed real fast if you let me. And you seem like you're gonna be a minute. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and climb up this way like this. And toss it, explode it. What do we get? Oh, it's just a chest, never mind. What's inside? Five ice arrows, you know, they might be helpful. Okay, let's try figuring this out then. We need to hit his horns. We also don't wanna get hit by him. All right, yeah, that's gonna miss. I need to get way closer. This is it, this is it. Nope. Oh, no, no, that got him. He's so much larger than he appears. Was that good? Oh, that's all we had to do, okay. I had thought that maybe we had to, I mean, I should probably get more of his stuff too. If I could get, I think I need his like claws or something for a power up for one of the uh, gear expansions. That may be something else that adds to the percentage. I'm not sure. Okay, so if I could then, did that work? There it goes, there it goes, where is it? Way down this way then. Let's try to get that then. And also, where did the shrine pop up? I actually don't know. I have no clue where the shrine popped up. I wanted to get those for sure, though. Right there. Oh, yep, shard of Jinral's horn. No, that was his claw. Okay. Uh, the shard clipped and fell off the red spirit, Dinral. Its horn is said to be crystallized power of fire itself. It sells for a high price, but rumors say there's some other use for it. Can you just move out of here, sir? Yeah, I don't know where it went, so I'm gonna have to look around now. <laughs> there it is, okay. So, I can see it on the other side of the ravine. I just jumped from the tower to get the best view. It's nighttime now, so <laughs> that also helped. I mean, it was nighttime before, but I think it became daytime, and I don't know, I was just looking around. Couldn't find it, but now I found it. See, it shouldn't be too bad to get there. That's always good. Just a long, long glide. There's a higher point over this way, and I feel like it just might be easier to get to that. Even though I probably could just glide straight there. I think, I'm pretty sure they set it up that way. 
But yeah, I'm glad that we were also able to get uh, Dinral's horn, even though I was trying to get his claw, because I was pretty sure he could also they could also drop claws, but I may be wrong. Okay, it's raining over this way, that's a bit of a concern. It feels like yeah, there's a wind pushing me a little to the left. Not too interested in that. <laughs> so does he show up every night? I'd have to assume so. Come on, we're almost there. Keep going. Almost got it. Ready and a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> this is the last one of the day. After this, we can actually go and defeat the Wind Blight Ganon. That'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, Shiro Mar Shrine. Let's get to it. I'm gonna skip all that just because we've seen it a, a hundred times before, literally. More than that now. I mean, we've done four shrines on the Great Plateau, three at Mifa's, three at Daruk, so that right there is 10. So I've actually seen that, that, that was 131st time seeing that. How cool is that? <laughs> Aim for stillness. Shiro Gomar Shrine. Okay, well, we'll try to be as still as possible. I think, I, yeah, I need the remote bomb for this, of course. That was probably not how I was supposed to do it, but you know what, sometimes you just gotta do it that way. It made a sound as if I solved something by doing it that way. Uh, so where in the world is the chest? I'm trying to take a look. I don't think it's anywhere around here. Anyways. Yeah, I don't know where that went. Let's try that again. What are you doing? Uh, drop it. It'll launch. And boom. I was quite easy. <laughs> is it gonna play that noise every time? I guess so. Oh, aren't we so fancy? Is there anything of interest up this way? I guess not. You could just say, ooh, I made my way to the top. Look at me. There's still quite a lot to find though. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can with all that. And going up this way for some reason. Ooh. Okay, there it is. Oh, I see. That shouldn't be too bad to figure out actually. Let me just wait here. Wait for the right time, and we should just be able to fly right up there. Instead of using this to push the bomb. Oh no. <laughs> We're using this to push us, but the timing is not easy. And the placement of it isn't easy either. Okay, go. Oh, oh, so close yet so far. It's really tough. If I could just go at it one more time. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. What do we got? Bomb arrow times 10, very cool. So we should be able to do this, no problem. So, oh, I see the tough part here. Sort of. Is that will close the door. So how do you do this? Good question. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Stasis that, put this, in, oh, come on, dude, really? Okay, that's silly. I mean, I might be able to, no, there's no way. I'll try it though. Because this is gonna move the second you put it in. It's sort of weird. Don't know how much I like that. And I can't stasis the... Go, 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 go. No, the angle's gonna be all off. How weird is that? I mean, I might want to put it in first, then stasis that, but I feel like that's going to be really tricky to pull off too. And no matter what, this is tricky to pull off. But we'll try this again. Freeze it, because you need to add in the time it's going to take to roll through, and especially when you can't really do it very quickly, when he just donk, you know? It's, just, it's very silly. So let me just cancel this so that we can get back to restoring it sooner. Oh man, I don't, I don't like that very much. There's a matter of timing now. So I'm gonna let this one get by, I think. Actually, I'm not. Uh, maybe I should have. Cause it like, ah, oh, it just takes its time so much. So much. I don't like that. Cancel it. Okay. Ooh. Ready and freeze it. I don't know, this might be late. Oh my gosh, Link, if you didn't do that, most of the time that'd make this so much more bearable. But it's just, oh, I don't like it. Oh, boom, 
Oh, and there it goes. It's good enough, I hope. I hope it's good enough. If not, I'm going for plan B. You'll see what plan B is. Ready, go for it. Oh no. Um, this might call for plan B. I mean, I'll still need to freeze that. <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna undo what I've already done. I hope not, I'd be so upset. I worked really hard for that. Um, good question though. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I need to first off, stasis that again. And get launched totally at the wrong angle, but plan B, there it is, plan B worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. If it works, it works, I'm not complaining. Let's get up this way, Woo! hold on. Anything of interest down this way? I guess not. Okay, we're just trying to get over here. Are we done? Oh, we're done, okay, never mind. A little bit more, and we are good. We already got the chest for this area, so we're fine. Got some bomb arrows and everything. Okay, so for our third emblem, that is gonna be very cool. And then finally, we can go and fight Windblight Ganon. Might be a big pain in the butt, but it'll be well worth it. That's always awesome, so we probably just gotta go to, uh, you know, we'll find out. I know the, yeah, you gotta go to the Divine Beast Vomito. We'll talk to Cass as we normally do, but actually, first we gotta have the memory and everything. All right, let's get to it. So here we are at Vomito. Hopefully everything turns out okay. Uh, and yeah, let's just walk towards it, I think. It's typically what we do. Oh, there we go. So we have another memory for ourselves, I'm sure. We have to defeat this guy, it'll be a pain in the butt, but we'll get through it. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Mado's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Okay, so for the third time, we're gonna go ahead and defeat a, a, a Wind Blight Ganon, or at least a Blight Ganon. Second time for Wind Blight. Third time for this whole quest. And seventh time in general, by the time we're done this, we'll defeat De defeated eight Blight Ganons. That'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. Whenever it loads. <laughs> there we go. Just like last time, when Blight Ganon, this illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using the tools provided. All right, well, with the tools provided, I'm gonna kick this guy's butt. Hopefully. Oh boy. So I don't remember this one being too bad. But you never know. I don't know what kind of resources we'll have this time. Wind Blight Ganon. Oh boy. Okay, so first off, what gear do we have? We have one feathered sword. Really? Um, I know this might seem like a really bad time, but I don't think I've ever seen a feathered sword, or feathered edge. All right, <laughs> okay. Yeah, really bad time, really bad timing. I got it back though, don't you worry. Um, when it comes to everything else, uh, set bonus were unfreezable. We actually have a couple sets of bows here, phrenic bow and duplex bow. I definitely have photos. If we have 100 arrows and five bomb arrows, well, thank you very much. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Let's get him down here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, there's some wind over here. That'll be helpful. I'm starting to remember this one. Yeah, get up this way. And wait for him just to do something silly so that we can take him out. Got it. Nice. And should I actually do the duplex bow a little bit? It does three more sets of damage, so why not? And I can do this for a while. I have a lot more stamina than I did first time I was here. Goodbye! <laughs> How great is that? Oh no. Because you know, it triples up my arrows, which is great. 
good damage uh, sort of spread. Okay, so you know what I need to do is first off not get hit. We'll see what the chances are of that actually happening. Um, I mean, I definitely want to use this bow. Oh, that's those are going through him. Whoa, that could have been bad. Where is he, where is he? He's back over here. So I'm just gonna go for him like that and like that. And then once I'm a little bit closer, I should probably, and then probably also use a couple bomb arrows. There's like three of them, so it's amazing. All right, uh, that seemed pretty good. I'm gonna do this, switch back to that. I think we're gonna be able to get him. I mean, we've already got him almost halfway down. It's sort of ow, 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 at least for now until he starts bringing out his second phase. Rinse and repeat. Where is he? He's moving. Wherever you move, I'll be, I'll be following you. Let me stamina restore. He, he's a pretty quick shot, though. That's the part we gotta be careful of. And then, you know what? What is happening? There we go. Got it. I would love to get down there in time. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, what's happening? We're sort of frozen. Uh, I guess our uh, we got to the next phase. Very cool. He doesn't like that very much, of course. Now he has like some seeking missiles, which will not be fun to deal with. I'm still in the middle of the air. Uh, come on, fly, 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 fly. I'm gonna hit that, hit that, and that. I don't ever remember knocking these things down. Our duplex bow is damaged, unfortunately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over. Oh no, out of stamina. Oh, that hurt. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna freeze him. We're going to change to our weapon and I'm gonna beat him up. This does not do much. This is clearly not what you're really meant to do. Also, hold on, speaking of photos earlier. Snap. And win bike down, cool. <laughs> we got it, don't you worry. I'm sure somebody was like screaming like, no, <laughs> don't forget Zebra. I, I, I thank you. I do appreciate that people are looking out for me. I know I'm super forgetful. Where Where is he, by the way? Uh. Oh, well hello. You know what? I'd rather not deal with your darn missiles. I'd rather just deal with taking you out. There we go, got it. I don't know how much stamina we have. You know what, it doesn't concern me much. I'm just gonna hit you with the sword. All right, I know those missiles are probably coming for me soon. And he's moving, so you know what, I'm moving too. I know those missiles are still just sort of hanging out looking for me. Where are you going? Even just going into that mode sort of gets you in trouble with stamina. There we go. No, my duplex bow. I, I didn't even realize I was using my duplex bow there. Okay, dude, seriously. Yeah, not happening. Let me switch to this. And boom. Got it. We're definitely gonna be, be able to beat you here. And then you know what? Since we haven't used it yet, bomb arrow. Ow, oh, that hit me too. <laughs> Hold on then. Uh, eat that and this and that. Okay, hold on, don't you dare move. I'm just gonna get my sword and toss it at you. That was uh, that was a little bit uh, of a silly move. But we got him! See ya, Wind Blight, Wind Blight Ganon. <laughs> okay, we did it! How amazing is that? So we got it all done. Wind Blight Ganon is defeated for the second time. And along with it, we should be done with Revali's portion of the ballad. Not the ballad, uh, like the champion's ballad. Yes, that's what it's called. Alrighty, very cool. And away he goes. Okay, one step closer, only one more remains. It'll be interesting to get there for sure. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of work to do in the next episode, but it'll be well worth it. It's gonna be a blast. All right, we're back. And here comes our good buddy, Cass. Mm. Well, well, though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. I speak figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Ravali has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, 
near the divine beast of Amado, which Ravali himself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of the champion Ravali. Recall Amado's champion of flight before he fell to his fateful plight. Ravali's feet was a wonder to see, so the princess made her plea. Ah, so we get to see one of the memories regarding Ravali. <gasps> oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Not enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. No, your highness. It's rude to eavesdrop. <sighs> My apologies. I went to the village and I was told I could find you here. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all. It will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! <laughs> oh no. Whoa, look at it, he's doing it this time. Well, he goes way higher than we do when we use it. Oh, he's so cool. I play the biggest part in helping that <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. Oh, I can't help but like him, but he's so mean to Link. Come on now. Mm. Hmm, it seems the Rito champion was not one to share his feelings. So, what do you think of the Champion Rivali song? By writing a song that highlights the hidden feelings of Champion Rivali, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about these verses. Very I cool. I truly never imagined you would do so well. Regardless, Rivali's Gale should be more efficient than ever. As you are, I guess it's theoretically possible for you to best Ganon. All right, well, Rivali's Gale plus Champion Rivali's Divine Gift creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky, activate by charging your jump with X, and now requires less time to charge. I mean, the less time is cool. I think it would be cooler if we got like higher jump speed or you know what I'm saying? Like not higher jump speed, but like we could just go higher up in the air. Like to me, that would be amazing. But either way, that was awesome. Did take a little bit more work than the Elden regions with Daruk in my opinion. But hey, now we only have one more left to go in the Gerudo region. Of course, trying to get Urboses to be 
improved as well. That's gonna be a little bit more work, but it'll definitely be worth it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Revali Zebra, so you watch at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. At the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.